again, one of these areas where people start to panic. We always hear that there's different kinds of hajj, that you make a different intentions, that you enter ihram, then you exit ihram, or you stay in ihram, or you do umrah, you don't do umrah. And, of course, this you know, can be confusing for a lot of people. So can you kind of give us the details of these different options? Well, since you already warned the viewers that uh, uh, most people panic whenever they hear the different kinds of uh, hajj and the different forms of ihram and so on, I would like to assure you at first that it is indeed very, very simple. You just need to educate yourself, and this is a part of the preparation before hajj, about the journey, what you need to do, and so on. Simply, you make up your mind. Are you planning to perform hajj only? or perform Hajj and Umrah. These are two kinds. In the second kind, if you're planning to perform Hajj and Umrah, sometimes you perform the Umrah during the months of Hajj, then take a break by exiting the state of Ihram and wait until the eighth day of the month of the Hijjah, then make a new intention for the performance of Hajj. But there is another kind of performing Hajj and Umrah together. If you're planning to do them together without taking a break in between, you perform the Umrah during the month of Hajj, and you keep your Ihram on, and you remain in a state of Ihram all the way until you completely finish the rites of Umrah and Hajj. Uh, the first kind, which is just performing Hajj, I wouldn't recommend it for any person, especially for those who are coming from long, long distances. You came on the way to perform Hajj. So why don't you enjoy making both Al-Hajj wal Umrah? Since Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stated, وَأَتِمُّ الْحَجَّ وَالْعُمْرَةَ لِلَّهِ And complete both Al-Hajj wal Umrah. Sincerely, 